What are the megatrends? These are major forces that are at work in the world today, which must be accounted for in our policy, our economic development, our global interaction, our international relations. And the first is in the world today, in the post-Cold War era, uh, we're seeing a substantial migration of wealth from the West to the East. Understanding that there is this migration, there is a shift of economic capacity from West to East is an important realization as we, the United States, for example, have undertaken what we call a rebalance to Asia. A second megatrend is major demographic change. In the developed world, the population age is increasing. The median age for the population is going up. They are older. And in some developed states, the population is actually shrinking. It's countered by those populations in the developing world or the underdeveloped world that are increasing. They're increasing actually dramatically. And the median age in those populations is actually going down. So they're a much younger population, and that segment of the population is often uneducated, unemployed, underemployed, or unemployable. And in many of these countries in which uh, vital national resources or natural resources exist, that population is often considered to be a demographic time bomb. Another area is the rapid urbanization of the planet today. Now, about one-fifth of the population, you and I, about one-fifth of our population, live in about the 27 or so mega cities on the planet. And by 2030, the United Nations predicts that 60% of the world's population is going to live in an urban center. And as the size of those cities becomes larger, and in certain societies, as the demography of that city increases with a youth bulge, we can begin to see some real challenges beginning to emerge. And then we have the effect of climate change and the increasing scarcity of natural resources. And of course, scarce natural resources create competition. Water is of course a very important natural resource which is becoming difficult obviously to control in some portions of the world. And then the last is the rapid development of technology. Populations in relatively undeveloped societies and in cultures, they have capacity now to talk and interact and exchange ideas in ways we could never have imagined just 10 years ago. The Arab Spring was really a profound change in the region and it washed out of office a large number of national leaders, but it touched virtually every country in the region in some form or another. So the Arab Spring was a major force that we had to account for as we thought about what the big ideas were for the deployment of American forces. But for those of us involved in strategy and policy and the deployment of forces and ultimately waging the wars of the country, understanding the mega trends, regionally understanding the forces at work in our region, which was uh, the Arab Spring and the growth of Muslim extremism, that helped us to shape ultimately then the final considerations for the big ideas. It's a human business, legacy we want to leave behind us.